Hello folks, Jim Game here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. So today we've got another course by the CLV24 and this is Oakmont Country Club. And we're actually going to be playing the US Open from 2016. I believe, yep. And that was won by Dustin Johnson. So let's get cracking with this. As you see, the fairways are moderate, the greens are moderate, the green speed is fast, time of day, afternoon, Bit of light cloud, wind speed is medium. Again, with the St. Andrew's Old Course, he's got two editions of this out as well. He's got the tournament edition and the normal edition. As you see, the tournament edition has the grandstands and the crowds. And we're playing in the afternoon. So here we go, hole one, 482 yards, par four, stroke index four. Okay, the wind is coming in from the right. It's only at four miles an hour, so that's not too bad. The fairways are pretty thin though. Oh, it's a slope. I hope that wind's gonna keep it in for me. That's fine, it's right down the middle of the fairway. Oh, that's got a good bit of roll on it. Okay, 168, 35 feet down, so that's playing about 156, right about that. So let's go down to the 158, put a little bit of loft on it. Five mile an hour wind coming in from the right, so we're going to aim just to the right hand side of the green here. We're a little tiny bit of slope as well. Perfect, perfect, that's a beautiful strike. The wind's pulling it in, lovely, all depends on distance now. Oh, it's got quite a bit of roll out of it, even though it's on moderate. Okay, as you guys know, uh, with the RCRs, I like to give a little bit of history of the course. And I'll get started as soon as I try and put this. 19 feet, 3 inches down. Again, guys, I'd just like to say thank you for all the support you've given me. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, the amount of support you guys have been giving me lately. Really, really humbled by it. Uh, I really do like these and enjoy the content. So I actually love making it for you guys to watch. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Oh, I've hit that way, way, way too slow. So that is a very bad putt to start off with. So that should give us a par though. So we'll start off with a par. Okay, Oakman Country Club is a country club in the eastern United States located in, located in Plum and Oakmont, suburbs of Pittsburgh in Western Pennsylvania. Established 115 years ago in 1903, this golf course is regarded as the oldest top-ranked course in the United States. It was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1987. The Pennsylvania Turnpike separates seven holes, uh, two and eight, from the rest of the course. Two through to eight, should I say, not two and eight. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me get comfortable in my chair. You see that? Look, I'm not touching that. That's my, that's my controller doing that. It's just every time, if, if I just touch it a little bit to the left, it just keeps going, look. <laughs> KO2, 348 yards, par four, stroke index 14. So I'm just gonna aim to the left-hand side of this bunker here. Oh, it's a fast. It's not too far off the mark. So it's sure that, that's not too bad. Come on, stay there. Oh, I thought that was water. Thank goodness for that. So 83% to 90%. We're on a big left to right slope here though. 68 yards to the pin. It's playing 14 up, so that's about 73. Okay. I'm going to go with the normal. Oops. Get back to that. So that's 91. Would I say that was? That's 73. Let's try there. Perfect, perfect. Oh, that's not bad. That's come out pretty nice. Stopped pretty quick as well. Okay, so it leaves us a 11 foot, one inch up putt. Pretty flattish, it looks like. And we get a birdie out of that one. Nice. 
Okay, who we got here? Jason Day, Yuta Akita, Brian Harmon, Shubanka Hashama, Ryuko Tokimatsu, Adam Hadwin, Brandon Grace, Jordan Spieth, Pat Perez, Chris Paisley, and me coming in at the bottom now. Okay, the course, the only design by Henry Founds, opened 115 years ago in 1903 with a crew of 150 men and a little under two dozen mule teams. Henry Founds spent a year building Oakmont on old farmland, which was ideal for the link style course. It straddles the Al Allegheny River <laughs> Valley and uniquely has virtually no water hazards and since 2007 almost no trees. Okay, looks like there's a lot of trees here. I wonder if it means like actually in a course and not like around the surrounding area of it. Because CLV usually does a usually stand out bang out job, usually pretty accurate. K03, 428 yards, par 4, stroke index 6. Beautiful strike. Right up the middle. Okay, a little bit uphill to the pin here, to the green. And um, we're going to be on a big right to left slope, so the ball's going to be above our feet for this second shot. Big right to left slope. Okay, 133 yards to the pin, 14 feet up, so it's playing about 138. I think just a tiny touch of loft on that. I'm going to aim it to the right hand side of the green. Okay, it's a nice strike. It should pull in. Oh, if I took too much off it, it needs to roll up a bit. That's not too. Oh, that might roll off actually. I think it is. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so that's going to leave us a little chip in here. Eight yards, one foot up. Oh, just missed that. So that's going to leave us a little tap in for the par. Okay, with a USGA course rating, of 77.5 and some 200 bunkers is generally regarded in the golf community as one of the most difficult in the United States. It features large, extremely fast and undulating greens, all are original but the eighth, which was moved several yards to the left to make way for the Pennsylvania Turnpike in the late 1940s. Originally a lynx course, trees were added in the 1950s, 1960s. Most were removed beginning after the 1994 US Open. Okay, so we've got here hole four, 601 yards, par five, stroke index 18. Do love them bunkers. Okay, beautiful strike. Should be right down the middle of the fairway. Uh, talking about them bunkers. Uh, one of Oak Oakmont's most famous hazards is the Church Pews Bunker that comes into play on the third and fourth holes. It measures approximately 100 by 40 yards and features 12 grass covered traversing ridges that resemble church pews. So let me just, just put this down to here and then we can see them here. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Let's get that. I'm going to aim and circle back over here. Okay, there we go. Okay, th we've got 306 yards, nine feet down, so we're definitely not going to reach the green. In two. Oh, going to be close to it though. I'm actually going to go with a five wood, uh, the one iron. Try and lay it in the middle of this fairway here and leave us a full pitch in. Perfect, perfect. Nice strike. Now, hopefully that leaves us a full shot into the green. Okay, 56. Bang on 56 yards with the pitch. Pitch with a sand wedge. I'm going to put just a tiny touch of loft on that. 
because as you know, you get a little sort of bounce and skip forward. Oh, hits a slow. Wow, that sounded pretty weird. Sounded like a big slap. Okay, so we've got 11 feet, two inches down. Shouldn't turn too much. That gives us another birdie. Okay, for many years, Oak, Oakmont's um, bunkers were groomed with a rake with wider than normal tines. That must be the pegs on the rake. <laughs> Great and deep furrows. The rakes were last used in US Open competition in 1962 and eliminated from the club in 1964. Hole 5, 384 yards par 4, stroke index 10. The course has been constantly ranked as one of the five best Golf Digest 100 greatest golf courses in America. In 2007, Oakmont was placed in fifth by the magazine. It's one of the only few courses ranked every year in the top 10 of the publication's history. The top 50 toughest course courses ranks Oakmont also at number five, while GolfLink.com ranks it at number three overall. Okay, so this is a pretty short hole. I'm gonna have to drop down the three wood here. Okay, another perfect perfect, so I'm hitting the tempo pretty well. Except for on that pitch shot where I hit a slow down swing. Okay, so that leaves us 89 yards to the pin. It's actually playing about 86. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of loft on this, just to counteract some of that wind. Another perfect, perfect strike. Depends on distance. Oh, a little bit short that. Okay, we've got kind of a double break here. So it's going right to left and then up at the hole, it's going left to right. Oh no, 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 no. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That just leaves a little tap in for the par. Okay, on to the tournaments that this, this um, course has held then. Oh, a little par three here, hole 699 yards, par three, stroke index 16. Oakman has hosted the US Open nine times more than any other course, most recently in 2016, as scheduled for its 10th in 2025. It's also hosted three PGA Championships, five US Amateurs, three NCAA Division Men's Golf Championships, and two US Women's Opens. In total championships hosted, 21, it also far outranks any other course. So there we go. Okay, 191. That's playing around 186, 185. So I might just stick with a five iron here. Little tiny bit of loft because that wind should hold it up as well. Oh, it's a fast. How far is that going to go to the left though? Oh, it's going to go right over the pin now. So it's going to leave us quite a long putt because I think that might roll off. Nope, it's actually stayed on. Yeah, as you know, uh, the last one was win by Dustin Johnson. Okay, 35 feet, two inches down. It's got a big, big turn on at this one. Oh, that's, oh, it's just pulled up. Not enough welling on that, a little bit harder. And that squiggy the line of a putt, I still haven't been on the, the practice screen, trying to sort out this um, putt and swing that I've got. Okay, what we've got here, Jason Day still there, Brian Harmon, Adam Hadwin, Hudson Sawford, Chris Paisley and Brandon Grace coming in at the end there. Okay, hole 7, 478 yards, par 4, stroke index 8. Okay, nice looking hole this. I do like the way the sun's coming out. Did I put it on in the afternoon? Because you've got quite long shadows there from the trees. Quite a few bunkers. Either side of the fairway that, and you've got four big bunkers, sort of guarding the green as well. Okay, let's just try and smash the driver up here. Oh, it's a fast again. 
I'm hitting quite a nice um, swing, but my tempo is just a little bit. As I said in the St. Andrews playthrough, I think the, the tempo on the dry was just too slow. It's, it just feels awkward. Okay, 157. Let's go to the 145. We'll go with an iron iron here. She's got that wind as well. I want to just miss that right hand edge. Yeah, I think the iron tempo is absolutely spot on. It's just the driver. Oh, go on. Go on. Look at that. That was a nice shot, that was. Just sort of rolled around the contours right up to the hole. Use a little tap in for the birdie. Okay, hole eight, 286 yards. Par three, stroke index 12. As I said in the um, St. Andrews course, guys, this has actually been recorded on Sunday evening. It's what? Oh, it's one o'clock in the morning. I better hurry up and go to my bed because I'm up at in six hours to travel up to Scotland. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably schedule it for a different day release. I've never tried that on YouTube, so I hope it works out. Or you'll be listening to this on Thursday when I come back. <laughs> Okay, 277, so it's playing 272. I think that's going to be too much, three wood. I think I'm going to have to go with a one eye on here. Okay, beautiful strike. Now is it going to make it? It looks like it might kick a little bit left as well. No, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes. It was definitely the right club to play. I thought it might have been a little bit left there, but it didn't. Okay, so that leaves us quite a nasty putt though. A lot of right to left movement here. Oh, not that much. <laughs> oh, that sort of came back on itself there a little bit. So that's the part. Okay, hole nine, 483 yards, par four, stroke index two. Yep, yeah, I do like the lighting and the shadows. Look at the amount of bunkers he's got here as well. Okay, we've got the wind coming in seven miles an hour from the right hand side. So we're gonna aim down the right hand side of the fairway here. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful strike. Two hundred and ninety yard drive. That was a slight uphill as well. So that's hundred and seventy four to the pin uphill. So that's actually playing around about one eighty two. I make it. Seven mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side. Put a little bit of loft on. Oh, I must, might have moved that just a little bit too far to the right there. The wind didn't sort of move it as cross as much as I thought it would. Oh, it's coming down that little slope there though. That's not bad at all. Another tough little putt here. Nine feet. Oh no, I hit that too hard. A little bit pacey that one, even though it didn't roll past the pin, it sort of just shot off. I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> I was up early this morning, had a lot of stuff to sort out. As you, a lot of you know, I said I'm away tomorrow, but I'm getting married on Tuesday, so a lot of running about and things today. Okay, hole 10, 459 yards, par 4, stroke index 5. I still wanted to get a couple of videos done so I can get them out for you guys to watch while I'm away. Okay, downhill here. Okay, fairway kind of thins down down that. Oh, that's not bad though. That should be absolutely perfect. That's going to run down quite a bit, quite a big drive it's going to leave us. 317 yard drive. That leaves us 145, so that's playing about 140. 
Um, we've got that wind as well. So I'm just a little tiny bit of loft on it. Oh, slow. That's going to pull that around to the right. And also pushed it to the right. Yep, definitely getting tired, guys. <laughs> I was going to try and get maybe three or four done, but I've done them. Um, did St Andrews and I've done this one. I'm just too tired to do any more, so I do apologise for that. But that will still give you something to watch until I come back on Thursday. I'm not too sure what time we'll be back at, so hopefully I'll be able to get a, a round in Thursday evening when I come back. Okay, 21 feet, one foot down, so this is going to turn quite a bit. Going to have to hit this pretty slow. Come on, hit that little bit of slope there. Keep going, keep going. Oh, nice sort of judgment of pace there, but just a little bit too far to the left. Yeah, while I'm away anyway, guys, I'll be taking my iPad with me as well. So carry on commenting on the comment section and I'll, I'll make sure I try and make a little bit of time to jump onto YouTube and answer, uh, reply to some of the comments. Because I, I do like the, the feedback these guys give me on the in the comments and I, I do like to reply. I try to reply to every every one of them. There's something I noticed today, actually, um, I didn't realize. And I've been doing YouTube for quite a while. And in the comment section, once um, somebody puts a comment down, I get notified that there's a comment. And once I reply, that's fine. But like, there's like um, a couple of courses I did last week. I've just I've just gone through them again today, and I've noticed like the replies that I've made to the comment I actually have replies from you guys after that. But I don't get notified about them. So what I have to do, I'm going to have to start going back through some of the um, the older videos that I've done in the last week or whatever and just have a look at the comments section to sort of update them because I do like to um, reply to all the comments okay 108 so that's playing 113 roundabout okay we've got sand wedge that gives us 106 got a little bit of wind do you know I think that should be enough actually if it's not it's going to be in that bunker Oh, it's a fast, so it might actually help. Oh no, I think I would have been bang on. That fast just put it past a little bit. I think I've had hit a perfect, perfect there. That would have been bang on distance. Okay, nine feet, four inches down. Got a little turn right to the left. Little tap. And look at the birdie. Okay, we're at minus four. Jason Day's minus seven through 18. With Yuta Akida, Brian Harmon, Yuko Tokimatsu, you got Adam Hadwin, Hudson Salford, and Nikuel and Shugo Imahira. K hole 12, 626 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. So this is pretty big par 5, this one. Again, this is gradually going downhill. Quite a few bunkers again. Got quite a few bunkers um, with our second shot down towards the green. Quite a lot of crowd right around the green. Got a little grandstand there as well. Okay, six mile an hour wind in the face. But we should be able to clear this bit here. <coughs> Excuse me. I usually try to mute the mic when I kind of clear my throat, but I forgot. <laughs> as I said, I'm getting just a little bit too tired here. But I'm still not playing too bad though. Okay. 330 yards to the pin. Just going to try and smash it down here with the three wood. Slow. No, that's going right. Way right. That's going to be in the crowd. Four. Four right. 254 yards. Hopefully, we get a good lie here. 79 to 86%, so not that great a lie. I think. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna go with a normal shot. 91. Just put a little bit of loft on it. That came out lovely. Perfect, perfect. 
Uh, how short we're going to be here. That's not too bad. Still rolling, look at that. Okay, so where that leaves us? That leaves us 14 feet, 2 inches down. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, just to the left hand side of the hole, that. So that gives us a, is that a par or a birdie? Yep, that was a par. Arr, par on a par five. That was our second shot, though. Pulled it away into the rough. Not a good one. K okay, hole 13, 188 yards, par three, stroke index 13. Okay, you got six mile an hour wind. Uh, it's actually playing 186. It's playing about 191. Now that's going to be a tough pin to get to. Now the, the green is actually rolling right to left, so it should help a little bit. Okay, what did I say? 191. I think we'll go with the 180, the six iron. I still want to put a little bit of loft on it now. And hopefully this green just sort of feeds it around towards the hole. Okay, that's a nice swing. Oh, that might be a bit too much distance on that. Come on, yeah, it did feed it around, but way past the hole I was at. <laughs> so that's going to be a pretty tough part, I think. Okay, 17 feet, 6 inches down. All right, let me have a look. 6 inches down. It's got a big, quite a bit. It's going to turn quite a lot because you're not going to hit it very hard. Oh, I think I've got a little bit too much pace on that. Didn't go too, uh, too far past the hole though. So that's another part. Now how are we doing on the leaderboard? Not too bad. We're only three behind, and he's finished at minus seven through 18. Got quite a few holes we can sort of pull back on here. Hole 14, 356 yards, par 4, stroke index 7. A load of bunkers all the way up, right on left hand side of the fairways here. Oh, look how thin that is now. Oh, it's a slow. That's gone. That's away in that bunker, I think. Ouch. Not a good shot. That was way off the blue mark as well. That's not too bad though. I think we can still reach that. Okay, 91. To there. Sand wedge. Gives us 106. I think we'll go with the sand wedge here, guys. Oh, it's a fast. Oh, come on, that's going to kick right, uh, left, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it is. So that's going to leave us a little chip here. Okay. It's not bad. We'll be able to get a par out of that, I think. Yep, there we go. Another little par. Okay, run that hose to catch up, yep, hole 15, 482 yards, par 4, stroke index 9. Beautiful looking course though, yeah. as I say, CLV is fantastic and designer on these real course recreations. Just hope he brings his Pinehurst now over as well, and Magnolia. Okay, let's just smash one up here, plenty of room it looks like. That's a nice strike. Right in the middle of the fairway. Got a big kick to the right there, though. Is it going to stay? Yep, it's actually stayed on for us, so that's good. Okay, 190 yards. It's playing about 186. I think I might just stick with the 5 iron here. With a bit of a slope right to left, so I might actually just cut this in 
just a little bit of draw on it. Oh, it's a fast. That's going to pull it way around to the left. Oh, that might have been nice if I didn't hit that fast. Okay, eight yards, one foot up. Okay, that's going to leave us another little putt for the part. So hope we don't miss this. Don't want to drop a shot. Oh dear, no. Yeah, I pulled that a bit with the putt. Yeah, you must be you must be able to tell I'm just a little bit tired here. Oh, I've dropped out the minus three. I've got, I don't think we have any chance of catching these now, guys. Oh, 16, 229 yards, par three, stroke, index one. Here's a pretty tough course, though. I must admit that the greens are pretty tough. But, like I said, I'm not really playing to my usual standard. You know, you get that sort of gritty feeling in your eyes. That's the way I am at the moment. Okay, 236, that's actually playing. 233. 212 is not enough. Oh, man. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's no way is that going to make it. Oh, that's way too much. You know what? I'm going to have to just plump this right in the middle of the green here. And go for a huge putt, I think. Yeah, I don't think I would have made it over that bunker. Oh, I might have, you know. Oh, I could have made that. <laughs> I just didn't think it would. It's going to leave us a huge putt. I think um, some courses you should be doing that anyway, you know what I mean? They should force you to sort of play out to the left or right and go for par. Oh wow, this is tough. One foot down, 43 feet. It's going to be quite a big turn, left to right as well. on turn more come on that's not a bad distance from there that's not a bad leg putt i'll take that since it was one foot down over 50 feet yeah that's not too bad so that's another par so it looks like jason day is going to win this <laughs> Okay, hole 17, 313 yards, par 4, stroke index 17, uphill here. Fairway takes a turn around to the left. Got quite a few bunkers there on the left hand side of the fairway. Which you see all the crowds in that as well. Quite a lot of grandstands up towards the green here. Three wood, driver. Oh, I could make this, even though it's uphill. Oh, if I make this, I'm. Whoa. So fast, didn't want that. Hit the rough, slow it down for me. Oh, come on, now just trickle on the green. Oh, yes, that worked out. Lovely. Might be able to pull an eagle off here. Oh, that's a tough little putt, this one. 13 feet, one inch up. Come on. No, that's going to go left. Ah, oh, that would have been good to get the eagle out. That would have pulled us up quite a bit on the leaderboard. But we'll take the birdie and on to hole 18. Yep, that would have put us on minus five. It still would have, it still wouldn't have won it though. Hole four, hole 18, 487 yards, par four, stroke index three. Beautiful finishing hole this one. You can just see all the bunkers and that all the way around the course here. A big line of spectators all the way down the right hand side of the fairway. Quite a few bunkers again though. Yeah, beautiful course. Can't remember if I played this in TGC. I think I'm sure. Yeah, I would have played it in TGC too. I played all the CLVs and courses. Right, good drive for the final hole. But that looks like a might kick. Stay, stay center. Nope. Kicked off to the right. 
Oh, just trickled into the light rough. So I'll leave this 156. That's playing about 163. Do you know what? I think this eight might iron might be good, especially with that wind. It's a fast though. Come on, slow up for me. Okay, pull. Oh, yes, that's pulled right around towards the hole. Uh oh, where's it going? Stop. Oh, that's not bad. That worked, that worked out not too bad there. Okay, so what have we got? 11 feet, 2 inches up. It's got a little bit of turn left to right here. I mean, look at this green. Wow. Can you imagine being over there to the, the left? <laughs> Oh, has he got it? No, it's pulling up. Oh, and he drops it. That's not bad. So there you go, guys. That's Oakmont Country Club by the CLB24. And we came in fifth, minus five, and tied fifth place. Jason Day won. Andrew Johnson uh, tied with him. Ryuko Tokimatsu, Matthew Southgate. We asked, oh, Charles Watson came in there as well. Billy Horshaw, Brian Harmon. So as I said, that's Oakmont Country Club by the CLB24. I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. And I don't know when this will get posted. As I said, I'm going to put it up as a, a schedule to post. I've never done it before, so I hope it works out. And I hope you get to watch it before Thursday when I come back from Scotland. Uh, so don't forget, guys, if you like the content, uh, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you wish to do so, hit that subscribe button. Because next to that subscribe button, you have a little notification bell. You hit that notification bell every time you upload another video, you will be notified. Or follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitter handle will be in the description of the video and every time we upload you will be notified on Twitter as well So thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you on Thursday